Today, I'm gonna to show you how to take chicken breast from boring and dry to moist and incredible. We're making stuffed chicken breast, but this is the easy, lazy version because I'm not gonna mess around with pan searing the chicken first or fiddling with toothpicks, hold everything together because they're just gonna get left in there and then my husband's gonna take a bite and not realize it and then he's gonna stab the roof of his mouth. Sorry, babe. So let's get to cooking so I can show you how to make one of my favorite chicken recipes. Start by preparing your chicken. I'm using chicken breast primarily because it's easy to stuff because there's more surface area, but you could certainly use chicken thighs. Just make sure you get chicken thighs that are bigger and thicker because you wanna be able to form a pocket and have something be stuffed in there. It doesn't make sense if it doesn't fit in there and it's just gonna leak all out and tear and then it's not really stuffed chicken, it's just chicken with sauce. Pat the chicken dry with a paper towel and this is the trick to having your seasoning stick to the chicken breast. Then we cut our pocket, and this is how you can get away with not using a toothpick. Instead of completely butterflying your chicken like this, like a book where you're cutting the ends off, we're just gonna create a pocket and keep those ends intact, so now it kinda looks something like this. It's a pocket where stuff can easily fit in and it's not gonna spill all out. So to do this, you wanna cut a slit in the center and then move your knife up and down, leaving about a half inch to one inch or so from end to end. And now your stuffing is gonna stay without completely spilling out as it cooks. While I continue to cut some more pockets, I wanna share with you guys a shortcut that I have been enjoying where most of my meal prep for cooking dinner is done for me. Thanks to the sponsor of this video, Green Chef. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company that helps you cook delicious meals for your family. It has step-by-step -step instructions with pictures, key, and premium ingredients that come pre-measured with minimal prep. There's options for every lifestyle, like keto, paleo, vegetarian, vegan, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and even gluten-free. It's delivered right to your door with a weekly selection that you can custom order. And there's always something new to try, so our meals never get boring. Like this week, we have recipes for Southwest breakfast patties, chicken and creamy zucchini noodles, and pork with a balsamic fig sauce. That sounds amazing. If you wanna try Green Chef, well, you can use my code KETOFOCUS135 to get $135 off across five boxes, plus free shipping on your first box. Just go to greenchef.com for details. These meals are curated by expert chefs like this amazing meal. It was so good. And I just love that it frees up some more time for Netflix and wine in the evening. Again, go to greenchef.com and use code KETOFOCUS135 to save $135 off across five boxes, plus free shipping on that first box. Now that our chicken is prepped, it's time to transfer it to a foil lined baking tray. And then we're gonna brush both sides with some olive oil. Since we want the outside of our chicken to taste just as good as the inside's going to cook, we're gonna add a special seasoning blend. So I'm gonna include a teaspoon and a half of the following, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and paprika. And then I'm gonna sprinkle this on both sides of the chicken and then pat it in so it sticks. Now you're probably wondering what's gonna go inside this chicken. Well, we're gonna stuff it with a cheesy spinach blend. So you'll need four ounces of cream cheese and make sure your cream cheese is cold. You actually don't want it softened here because we don't wanna speed up any more of that melting process before it goes in the oven. Because if you do that, it's just gonna melt quicker and it's gonna be runny instead of more solid or perfect melty temperature. Two tablespoons of mayo, two cloves of minced garlic, although I did add three because you can never have enough garlic and two of these cloves look really small, and two cups of chopped spinach. And I used fresh baby spinach leaves, but you can use frozen spinach. Just make sure that you thaw it first and you get all of that liquid out by pushing it through a strainer or using paper towels to press out the liquid. Then I'm gonna add in my secret ingredient, which is two tablespoons of pesto. For the cheeses, well, besides cream cheese, we're gonna use one cup of shredded mozzarella cheese and a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Mix that together, ideally not with a spatula because we know that doesn't work. I would recommend using a fork. It just cuts everything together a little bit easier. And now you stuff. And the more you stuff, the more chances that it has to actually spill out, but it only spills out a little bit and you can just put it right back on your plate. 
bake it at 375 for 20 to 30 minutes. And the baking time really depends on how thick your chicken is. You wanna cook it until the inside, the thickest part of the chicken breast has an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Is that not the most beautiful looking chicken? And it's so juicy. This is one dinner that you're gonna wanna have on repeat, just like this chicken casserole right here.